What's up everybody, Gamerboy for Life here, and today I'm gonna be on part three of my Minecraft hack client tutorial videos. In this video, it's gonna be pretty short. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to add an in-game GUI so when you enable a module, it shows what module is actually enabled on your GUI. So in order to do this, let's just get started real quick. All right, so first go to our normal package, make a new package. We're going to name it GUI because we're going to be adding a few things into this package. But for now, we're just going to make a new class. We're going to name it GUI in game hook. The capitalization and everything, make sure you do it like I just did and then press enter. All right. So now that we're in here, we need to do so the GUI in game hook is going to extend GUI in game. Let's press control shift L on that hover over the hook and add the constructor that constructor is good we do not need to do anything about it all right so i am going to be referencing my phantom hat client for this i do not like typing all this code out because if you get one number wrong it messes up the whole gui so i'll leave that little bit of code in the description so you can just copy and paste it all right now in order to continue we need to make ourselves what's called a wrapper so we're going to right click on our main package and make another package named utils. Inside of utils, we're going to make a new class called wrapper. And then here we're just adding two lines of code. We're going to do a public static minecraft mc equals minecraft dot get minecraft. And for the second line, we're going to do public static font renderer as fr and this will equal mc dot font render object so let's import the font render and that's all we need from the wrapper class so that will help us when making mods and everything later on all right so continuing on sorry just pulling it up we're going to in the same method as the render game overlay we're gonna draw a rectangle we're gonna put it at two two we're gonna make it 95 long and 14 for the height okay and i actually forgot we need to make it a certain color so let's just make it black so i'm gonna do 0x8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 zeros to follow it so that will just make it black now we're actually gonna put the name of our client inside of that rectangle so we're gonna do wrapper dot fr dot draw string for text we're gonna put the name of your client so mine's phantom for x let's put it at four y we'll put it at four and then for colors if you just make a window and look up java yeah color codes you can find this website or any website that's like it you can Pick whatever color you want. Let's do like that. I like, or no, that'll blend in with. The, let's just make it bright, like sky blue for. Or actually, I like. Um. Let's add more blue to it. All right. So then, once you have it, copy this code. Go to where it says color. Put zero x and paste the number that you copied. Now after that. Right here, you don't need to do it. I just like doing it. So we're gonna draw another string. And what we're gonna do here is display how much FPS you're getting. So you don't have to always be pressing F3 and stuff. So let's do that. We're gonna add MC dot get, wait, what? MC dot, why? Okay, hold on guys. Uh, I can't get this to work. I'm just going to delete everything in here and type it out manually and see if that fixes it. So we're going to do in quotes FPS because that's the FPS. We're going to put a space. So there's a space in between where it says FPS and where it says the. Okay, so for some reason I cannot get this to work. So I'm just going to type it out and see if it will fix it. Get debug FPS. We'll put it at 50 four and we'll make the color white so white's just negative one 
MC change visitor. Will that fix it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the issue we were having. All right, now we're just gonna go down and do render array list. So that will get an error because we don't actually have a method called render array list, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna make a private void render array list. And when you do that, that error will go away. So in here, we're gonna int the y count and we'll set it equal to 10. We're gonna int index, and that's also that's just gonna equal zero. And we're gonna long x, and that will also equal zero. Now we're gonna do for module m paradox or whatever the name of your client is. Dot. Oh, okay. I forgot to add something inside of this class. Hold on. So in your main class, you actually do need to add a line of code. It's going to be public static, uh, whatever your class name is. So paradox, then we're going to put instant and that will equal a new paradox. All right, let's save that. And that should work now. So if we do paradox dot instance dot module manager, dot okay hold on i need to go back into my other class all right module manager dot get modules all right so now what that's gonna do we're just gonna put m dot on render okay now we're gonna go down from that and we're gonna do if m dot is toggled then we're gonna do wrapper dot fr dot draw string. So what I'm gonna do, I like putting a little dash before where it says the name. You'll see what it does later on. And then we're just gonna do m dot get name. X is gonna be five. The y is gonna be y count plus five. And the color. So you could do any color you want. So hold on. Let me find a color I want to make it. So let's do Java color codes. Let's just make it red for the purpose of the video. I will change it in a bit, but we're going to do zero X and then that color. Then once we have that, we're going to do Y count plus equals 10. Index is going to plus plus and X plus plus. That's it for the GUI in game hook. Now we need to open up the Minecraft.java class and look for in game or GUI in game until you find this right here. And what we're do gonna do is just go to the end of where it says GUI in game and type in hook, then press Control Shift O, and that'll import it. So now if we load into the game, loading Paradox client, all right. So let's just let it load. Now, if we go in game, as you see on the top left, it now says Phantom FPS, and then, yeah, it's just my FPS. Now, if I enable a mod, you can see it displays the module. Now, I don't like how, when I enable the mod, how it just keeps it red. I want it to be like a rainbow pattern where it cycles through colors. Now, you don't have to do this. If you want it to just be a normal color, go ahead and this video is done with. But if you want like a rainbow effect, which I will show you guys what it does in the video. If you want a rainbow effect, just follow what I do now. So what we're gonna do is go to utils, right click, make a new class called color utils. Now in here, we're gonna do public Oh, if I get type public static color, we're going to name it rainbow effect. And in here, we're going to long the offset and a float fade. Now we need to import the color class. The color class we're going to be using is java.awt. Just import that. Okay, so this is a little bit of complicated. It's not a complicated code. It's just a lot scrambled together. So let's just get started. So we're gonna float hue and this will equal float and system.nanotime 
plus offset. Now we're going to end that there and divide it by 1.0E10F. And we're going to put a percent sign 1.0F. That's that line done. Now we're going to do float or long color equals long dot parse parse long and for the string we're going to do int integer dot two hex string and here we're going to do integer dot value of and then here we're going to do color dot hsb to rgb for arg zero we're going to do hue for args one we're going to do 1.0 f for args two we're also going to do 1.0 f now we're going to move over a couple slots and do dot int value and after that we're going to go over one more put a comma and type 16. now okay so there's just this line and one more line of code for this class and then we could go back to our end game uh hook so here we can do color c equals a new color if i can type color we're gonna make a couple parentheses inside the first one we're gonna put int we're gonna go over and just type color and that's that line now this line is just repetitive but it's necessary so it's gonna return as a new color we're gonna do c dot get red that's going to get divided by 255.0 f and we're going to multiply it times fade now we need to do c dot get green and it's also going to get divided by 255.0 times fade now we need to do c dot get blue that's also going to get divided by 255.0 f times fade and now for the last one, we're gonna put C dot get alpha, and that's just gonna get divided by uh, 255.0F, nothing else. Oh, something's wrong with this. Hold on, I might have typed this in wrong. I'm just gonna copy this in. There, that fixed it. So yeah, I'll zoom in right now and just pause the videos until you get this all typed out. Until then, we could just exit out of color utils, go back to our GUI in game hook, and right where we have the color for the, uh, where we draw the name of the hack, we're gonna do color utils dot rainbow, rainbow effect for index, we're gonna do, or for here, we're gonna do index plus x times, I need to see what number this is. So that's three, three, all right. So it's gonna get multiplied by two billion. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're gonna put a L. Now the fade is gonna be 1.0F. We're gonna go over one parenthesis and do dot get RGB. Now, if we load into the game, it should, in theory work I just closed out of my other client because that's all I'm gonna need it for this video so if we go in the single player and enable a module just watch it you see how it changes colors now it cycles through the rainbow and I like it um, like I said if you just want it to be a normal color don't do anything with the color utils that I just showed you that is just preference I like it like this and yeah so that will be all for this video let's turn that to unlimited so it can actually okay so i actually did make a mistake when i set my fps to unlimited and when i reached over a thousand fps it actually goes off of the rectangle we made so let's go back into our gui in game hook find the rectangle and we're going to change 95 let's just change it to 100 Let's save the settings and go back in. And let's see if it looks better now. All right, so now that we're in, we're gonna press single player, load into the world, and we'll, yeah, it looks much better now. 
Of course, you can always mess with the length to get it the rectangle how you want it, but yeah, that's all I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. If you guys did uh, like it and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'm thinking in the next video, I might just go through all of the movement mods I actually have so I can um, show you guys like adding more modules to the hack client or I'm thinking about integrating the hack client into discord so when you open up discord it actually shows that you're playing on your client and not minecraft let me know what you want to see anyways I'll see you guys all in the next video if you liked make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys all next time peace out